Welcome to the fastest off in town. We're going to begin on the bottom of Ayn Bez, Omid Bez, the second line from the bottom of the tunnel. So you have a person that is bringing his merchandise from one place to the next. And the reason why is he's going from, as Rashi says, he's bringing his items from a place where the, the items could be sold only uh, for a cheaper price. And he's trying to find a place where he'll be able to make more money and sell to a higher at a higher price. <clears throat> so as he is in transit, Matzachavero, the Armelo Tanoli. So someone said, you know what, why don't you just give me this uh produce, your merchandise, and I will sell it for you. Just as you're going to do so, um I'm just gonna sell it. And Rashi says, And after I sell it, I'll have some of them, your money. I'll borrow that money. And then eventually I'll pay you back that money. So it ends up on some level being somewhat like a, of a loan. So as we continue, it depends. What does that mean? So it says Rashi. Let's say the one who sells this item is accepting upon himself a responsibility, then mutter, to ain kan milve, it's not considered to be like a loan, ad shitimacher, until the items are actually sold. The choma shenimchar, v'yoyker, shilbalam harishayinim hu. And therefore, as the price ends up being sold at a higher price, so it's considered to always have been in the rishos of the original owner. However, rishos loikech aser, if it's considered like the Rishos of this buyer, the Mahashta Malvahu Gabe. So since now the Lokech takes upon himself the responsibility of this merchandise, it's Ki'ilu like it's already alone, these items. And therefore, because of the issue of Rivas. And then the Gemara says like this Hamoyach Paris Mamakam Again, you have the same situation. A person is bringing his merchandise from one place to the next because he wants to sell it at a higher price. And the Matzah Havero, again, he encounters someone, Vyar Maloney says, to namely, give me your merchandise, and I'm going to consume them here. However, I However, I'm going to give you uh, these fruits, which I actually own, and it's in a different location. So basically, I'm going to consume your fruits, but you'll be able to take over the fruits that I already own elsewhere. So, it depends. If Yitaka does have fruits in that place, it's allowed. Why? Because we consider it as though it was transferred already to this person's possession. Now, what do you mean? The Peros are not here. They're, are, they're somewhere else. So, asks Rashi, so the truth is, you would really require Kenyan Mashiach. However, when it comes to this situation, even though Mashiach wasn't done, this is an issue of Saba Saw, because I'm giving you a Saw of Peros, and you're going to give me back a Saw of Peros, the same amount, and that's all, that's not considered Ribbis Katsut. So it's not an Iser Duraisa, it's an Avak Ribbis, the Rabbanan Din, and therefore, because of that, we're not Geyser. Even though Mashiach wasn't done, we say it's okay, it's Kiyu, like it's in his Rishos, and therefore, as long as he has Peros, it's good. However, if he doesn't, then it is Aser, Vimlav Aser. Why? Because Ham Tanasai Nasan Lezeb Makam Hayoiker. So it's a problem because since he doesn't have those fruits, so therefore it's not like it was actually given over to him. Okay. And therefore it's an issue of Sabasa. Okay, now the Gemara says another case. Mahachamarin. Let's say you have these uh, wagon drivers. Malin Mamakam Hayoiker. So they bring items from uh, places where it's more expensive. Kibimakam Azoil. It's considered like uh, the lower price. There's no chashash of what they're doing. What is going on over here? It says Rashi, hachamarim, hamis takrim betvua. So you have these wagon drivers who are, have this grain. So it's the same idea. They're bringing these grains to a place where the grains can be sold at a higher price. 
they're able to take money mibali batim ashirim. They can borrow money, take money from wealthy people, but makam hayoiker in the place where the tfu is being sold at a higher price. Almanas, and it, the monies are being given over to the wagon drivers on condition litinlehem was manploini haperes kasher makam azoil. That he will, they'll have to give him back the peros as it would be at a lower price at the lower where you can buy them at a lower price <coughs> it's not considered to be a form of ribus even though again the wagon drivers are taking this money from the bali batim and it seems again a form of ribus for some reason it's okay now my time huh? why are we leaning over here so rapapa Oimer, Nichlahu, Demulagalahu Tara. So, what does that mean? Says Rashi, Sha'ali de Moisa Shalze. The fact that monies are being given over to this guy, Him Nikarim Socharim. So now they become known wagon drivers. And Makirin Oisim Bali Batim Shal Mokam Hazoil. And people in this other location where the prices are. Are sold at a lower price, the Noislehem Bakapa, they will give it to them like uh, as credit. So these people become known, these wagon drivers, because they're have established in their ways, and therefore, for that reason, it's not considered to be ribbus. Rav Achbari to Rav Yika Aymer, he says a different reason, Nichlhu de Mizoyli Gabaihu. It's actually good that the prices are going to be uh, at a cheaper price. Basically, we're going to see in Rashi, they sell the drivers um, the grain at a much cheaper price. But in Makamazol, Kishishayimim She'ein Eilu Mestakrimba. Uh, okay, so my binayu. So what's the difference? If we're dealing with a first-time um, merchant, so what is that? So tagr shenu nicker a dayan. So people don't know this relationship. So tara ika, the one who says that. The whole notion is that they become well-known drag uh, drivers. That still applies. The one who will say that I'm going to give you at a lower price. So it's not recognizable because they're new. They don't trust them. Okay. <clears throat> so Basura... In Sura... Uh, Aslan uh, Asle Arba Arba Bikafri. So Rashi says in Surah they would take four Garive for each which is a, a measure for Azuz. Bikafri uh, Aslan Shisa Shisha they would it would be six. Again Kafri is the name of a place. They would take six Garive for uh, Azuz. Yoav Rav Zuzi Lechamare, so Rav gave money to these wagon drivers. Drivers, the Kabbalai Unsa de Orcha, and he accepted upon himself the any any um, anything that could happen on the road. If something happens to this produce, the Shakum Inayu Chamisha, they took from him five. The Nishkal Shisa, they took six. Says Rashi Kivan, the Kabbalai Unsa de Orcha, since he accepted upon himself. That potentially again, if something happens on the road, so in kind of ribus, it's not ribus. Okay. So again, because he accepted upon himself the oinus, any oinsin that could happen on the road, therefore it's not considered to be. Um, it's not considered to be uh, ribus. Our answers, but adam choshev shiny. So over here we're talking about adam choshev. That people know who this person is, and therefore it's different specifically when it comes to him. So 
even though we're saying that when it comes to donkey drivers that we do this. However, over here we're talking about Adam Chashem, so the din is different. So he has the kasha. What is the din when it comes to Garutoy? Says Rashi, this is referring to like scrap metal. Other um, other business. So when we're dealing with Malasos Begarutoy's cane. So what's the din? So Malay Bika Shabi Shmuel Rav Yosi Lasos Kain Bekli Pishton. They wanted to do this when it came to Bekli Pishton to like um, garments of linen. Vlohanichu Rabbi Vlohanichu Rabbi. Ika the army some say Bika Shabi Lasos Begarutois Kain that he wanted to make this deal when it comes to scrap metal. Vlohanichu Rabbi Shmuel Rav Yosi and he didn't allow it. So why not? So Rashi says because. Um, this is different because this is not something which is ongoing. When it came to the two of the wagon drivers, this was something that was a davar shchiach. However, when we're dealing with other items in which this is not a commonality, that it's, it's you sell it today but not tomorrow, so therefore such... Um, uh, Hector of not being concerned of it looking like ribbis doesn't apply. Pardesa. So what happens if about a pardesa? Rashi says, Liknos yayin minakaren. You want to buy wine from a vineyard, but domin pchusim for a lower price. So basically, can you prepay for wine at a cheaper price while the grapes are growing before they're actually ripened? So this is the the kasha. Um, it says Rashi of a dying lohigil levichor. It has not yet ripened. So what is the din? Can you prepay for wine at a cheaper price uh, at this time? So Rav Aser Shmuel Shari. So it's a machlokas. Now why does Rav say it's all? So Rav Aser Kivan do a kame shavia tve mischazik ki agrenatele. So the problem is, since the wine will become more expensive, so therefore it looks like agrenatar. Says Rashi. Since you're giving money now early and you're prepaying and you end up getting wine which is going to be more expensive than had you bought it earlier at this time, so therefore it looks like you're lending money and you're going to be ending receiving back something more. So it's considered to be like delaying uh, wages or the fact that you're again getting this benefit of getting higher quality wine later on, so it becomes issue. Shmuel Shari Kivan de Havi Be Tihua Lo Mexiki Agranatule. Actually, no. The whole issue is Dafka in a situation where there's only an upside. But here, says Rashi, Pamim Shish Kilko Bekarim. Maybe something bad will happen in the vineyard. Right? And it gives examples, and you're going to end up losing all of this. And therefore, because of uh, you could end up, it could spoil. Uh, therefore, says Rashi, you're a couple of kos fake hefsid. You're accepting upon yourself a potential loss, a future loss. So lo mexi agrenatule. It's not considered to be um, a form of ribis. So, um, and tiyua Rashi says, according to the modern kedushin, like toya alu shyness, like someone who like has regret harata on the on on the on mitzvos that you did. That's what the Gemara over there is talking about. So that's the idea. That's, a machlo- that's the machlokas. Question 10. Pardesa hainu liknos yain minikarim. You buy wine from a vineyard. Ba'oida perus boitzer. Usmader bedam in pachusim. You spend less, pen, spend less money now, and you're going to end up getting higher quality later. So rabba says shmuel, uh, and shmuel is shari. So matam no rabba, matam no shmuel. So this is what question 10 says. Rabba sir kivan de moizel gabe. Nishum hak damas moisu. So it's considered like it's cheaper now than what it's going to be later on. Shmuel says it's allowed because the Kivan the Kilkel says it can get ruined. And with Kabul of Holokech, Safe, Kefsidir, the buyer's accepting a potential loss, will mix the Kagar not. Okay. Baita. Omar Rav Shimi Barachia Umoidi Rav. Now, even though Rav says that, in fact, this arrangement is Osir, he will agree, but Toyri, but Toyri, when it comes to oxen, 
dinofish pesedaihu. If we're dealing with a situation where you have oxen and they're walking around by this um, vineyard and they can easily be trampling upon this, so because this is a, a very great hefsid, so therefore certainly he's going to say this is not an issue. Okay. Armulahu Shmuel Hanhu de Shabshe Shivsha. So Shmuel used to say to these people, as Rashi were Balibatim, a Malavin Tfua, they would borrow or lend, lend grain, La Risim Lazroa. Basically, he would, they would give sharecroppers grain, and they would take it, and the sharecroppers would plant it. And they would get repaid, they would get paid with the grain at a later date. So the question is, is that an issue of like sabasa? You're giving them something, and they're giving it back, and also maybe they're giving you something of higher quality back. So how can you avoid any potential ribus issues here? So he says... Hafochubara, that you should like engage and work in the land, uh gufa de ara, so that you're being kind of the, the actual gufa of the land. So what does that mean? says Rashi. If you work on the land itself, says Rashi Shatem, Mamtinan um no, okay, actually the Rashi before that, Bakharsh Vikatsurmaat. So therefore, um it, it's okay. Because you're working on you're working on the land, you're getting paid for that work, and therefore it's not uh, considered to be you know you're the, only the share you're giving to the share crop, but if you also do work, so therefore it that's part of the cheshbon, and therefore it's not considered to be an issue of ribas. The ilo habilhu kalva baaser. Otherwise, it's an issue as Rash says it's sabasa. It's a case it's a case of sabasa. But if you end up working with the aris. So therefore, it's okay. Okay. Omru lahu rava lahanhu demit natri bagi. So those people who would guard fields, which there was also a problem, says Rashi. Sha'atem mamtin in sacharchem. These people would guard these fields, but they wouldn't get paid right away. There was a delayment in payment at gemar miruach agayrin. They would wait, and then you would eventually pay them. And not only would you pay them, you get, they used to give them a matana yoiser al sacharchem, a gift, more money than actually their work. So the problem is, it seems like a form of ribbis. Lafikach sayo aisam, so Rashi already tells us what we're supposed to do, you should help them. Kadeshte pulaschem moiskeres ad kol sagarin, and therefore, like they're working. Uskeres in mishlomis el basof, and you only get paid at the end. Vinkan. Hamtana, it's not considered to be like a delayment, a delay in payment, because since they're working, so since they're working, says Rashi, let's say the Gemara, Kafaychu b'beidari, let them work. Kehechi deloy tishalom schiras didchu ad hahi shaita. You only have to get paid until the end. The schiras name is Shlomas Lo Besayif. So therefore, uh, they're not getting. Um, they're, they're, they're. It's not like they're, they're holding off for prepayment and therefore they're getting rewarded by getting more money it's almost like they're lending you money and then now you're paying them back more money no so have them actually work so that they're not really supposed to get paid early but they're supposed to get paid at the end and therefore it's not considered to be an issue so therefore again they can get the benefit the problem is they get the benefit for waiting which is problematic but if you have them working it's not a problem okay Amrulei Rabban Lurava, Ka'achal Mar Ribis. I think that you are violating Ribis. The Kuli Alma, Shakli Arba, everyone else takes four. Umasalki Larisa, Benisa. And it says Rashi, for Kurin, um, for the field. Umasakli Larisa Benisa, says Rashi. Kaifanoisim Lixar Tvuaso, you force them to harvest their grain. And then to get it uh, in the month of in the month of Nisan. Mar so be you not to ad er you wait until er beyond Nisan the shakel shisa and you take six. So um says Rashi Shakel Shisa because Salka Daitoch 
Mishum Hamtanus Hachirus Kamoisri. The fact that you are given extra time to pay, so therefore, uh, therefore you're paying him more money. But that seems like ribas. Sarmalhu Atoin Kaav Ditoin Shlokadin. You're the one that's doing it improperly. It's not me that's doing anything wrong. The, the fact that you're um, solid in, in Nissan, and at that point, the grain is not completely uh, finished. Shalokadin, Arul Aris Mishtabit, Iatain, Misal Kisulahu Nissan, Masaditulahu Bekama. So you're going to end up losing out. Ana, Natarnulahu Ad Ir. I wait until the proper time and then you end up benefiting more, says Rashi. Uschar Sadi Ani Noidal. I take the reward for my field. Shalakani Mafriz Al Khakirasa Vienu Bishar Hamtanas Dal Kurin. It's not that I'm delaying, because the reality is that's really the right time that I was supposed to be paying. And by delaying, which is not really delaying, but by waiting until ER, so then you end up uh, benefiting. So as she says, Achis Bashal Hatvu Kot Sarcha, Hilka Shloika Dinhi Kifayaschem. So it's better that you should be waiting and because that's really when it's it should be the harvest should be taking place and that's when the the payment should be anyway. Okay, as we continue, I'm Gimel Mabez. Rav Mari Barachel, Rashi says that's the Bashmuel Haboy, it's the daughter of Shmuel. She was held in captivity and she got married. She met Benasa Nachri, even this guy here, she con- he converted. And the guy's name was Iser, Iser Giura. Ram Mari Harasai Shalob Kedusha. So Ram Mari actually ended up. Um, when he was conceived, it was before uh, the conversion. Vlidas Mekedusha. Umachmas Kvodo, because of his honor, Taluhu al Shem Imoi. To show respect to him, we mention him by his mother's name. So this is why Bar ba- Rachel, because again, she ended up marrying a, a, a Nachri who ended up converting, and he was obviously, therefore, we'd rather. Have Rav Mari go by his mother's name, not the father's name. Okay. Anyway, that's the little sidebar. Mashkin Leahu Nachri. Interesting. It says Nachri. So he was gave a um, pledge, collateral to a Nachri, uh, Nachri Beisa. And then Hader Zavna, uh, Hader Zavna. Then afterwards, the Nachri went and sold it Lerabba. So Nutter Treyasar Yarche Shaita. So he waited Rabari waited twelve complete months. Shako Agar Besa and then he uh took the payment. Amtile La Rabba Armale Hai Deloy Amtoi Lamar Agar Lamar Agar Besa Ada Idna. So the re- the payment for the house should not be until now. The stam mashkanta shata, because as we saw previously, that typically when someone has a mashkanta, it's for a year. He boy nachri lasalki loy havi matzvasalik li. He wouldn't uh, even if he would want to back down, he can't. You can't walk away from this for the first twelve months. Hashda lishkumar agrabesa, and therefore now is the time for you to pay. If it was the fact that I knew that it was given over to you as a mashkin, I would never have been involved in this business deal. So hashda kidinehem. Now that this is the proper din, I'm going to give to you whatever it was, whatever. Deloma salki bezuzi. So until he pays your money. He was chayiv only to a nachri, and therefore there's no din ribis there. Okay. 
Armali Rava Mibarnish. So he says, he said, Loravashi Hazimar Rabana de Kaachli Rabisa. So this guy also says, I think the Rabbanan are engaged in ribbis. Why? And So what are these Rabbanan doing? They're prepaying for wine in the month of Tishrei. And later they're choosing superior wine in Teves. So um, it could, uh, so how is this, uh, how is this allowed? It's, it's ribbis. As we said before, they're giving uh, money. They're getting higher quality wine later on. So it's almost like, again, they're getting more than what it was. So Amalei, in Hunami Achamra Koyoyev, Achala Loi Koyoyev. The truth is, they really are only interested in the wine. The whole purpose is for them to purchase wine, not the, not if it would turn into vinegar. Mikar the Chamra Chamra the Chala Chala. Originally, whatever is wine is wine. Whatever is vinegar is vinegar. Ayishaitahu Dikamavachri. They only really therefore originally bought the superior wine, says Rashi. Mikar Meshash Locha, when they bought it, Chamr Chamr Chalachal, Kilkul Batocho, who? It was already a Kilkul in the time of the purchase. Shenu Nikar just wasn't recognizable. They didn't buy the inferior wine. Question TA 29. Okay, TA 29. Madu Mutter Litain Mois Al Yain Batishray, why are you allowed to give money prepay for wine in the month of Tishray? And it's Voyata Shar. Again, there was no established marketing price. Vlika Khian Batavis, and you end up getting wine later on, which is of higher quality. Hari Nisker Baza, you're benefiting. Shim Hoya Noitl Batishray. If you would have taken the wine when you actually gave the money, Shem Hoya Machmetz, it could have turned into vinegar. And therefore, it's like now, by you, me giving you early the money now, so I'm losing the potential of it turning into vinegar, and you, the seller, have to only give me high quality wine. But how is that acceptable? Right? It doesn't seem to be allowed. Your answer is, when he gave the money, was Al Yain Blachoymets. He was buying the wine, not vinegar. And therefore, if it does turn into vinegar, it's like it was already vinegar from before. Therefore, there's no issue of rivers. Okay. All right. Ravina havi yoyev zuzi libne akra de shanvasa. So, shanvasa was, as Rashi says, is shem hanahar. Some river, which is by the um, an edge, uh, there's a, a river's edge. So he he gave money uh, in this particular location. Veshavchelei tfei, veshavchelei kofiso says Rashi. Medaitem shlobatanoi. It was given with their consent without any conditions. Ask me to Ravashi Armelei Mishari. How is he allowed to have done this? Emily, um, in Achuli, uh, in Achuli, who the Kamachli Gaboch says he, they were Michael, says Rashi Hoyle, for Pasak to Imahem, since it, he what, didn't designate and spe- specify, Medaitim Nesimacha was given with their consent, they must hear in Loimer Beskarcha Moisacha, uh, Shahayu, uh, Bateus at Slenu, Matana Baalmahi. It's just considered to be just as a gift, if it's allowed. So what do you mean? Uh, this land is not his. Rather, says Rashi, they're wealthy. And they left their fields, and ran away. They noised in Masakarka Lamelech, because they wasn't given the taxes to the land tax to the king, they anointed Hasadais, so he, he took the fields from them, Vakramim and the vineyards, Uparin Masal Melech, and then you pay the tax, Vishem Hayayin Shani Lokechmehem, so maybe the wine that I'm giving them is actually Gezel, who is stealing Biyadi, the Karkin and Gezelis, because you can't steal land, Veharihi Shal Balan Uparis Gezel, so maybe we're dealing with fro- uh, stolen fruits over here because 
the land really shouldn't have been was was stolen. So and you, again, it, it belongs to the original owner. So Omele Ara the Tasca Mishavda, whom whom fine, which means that this type of the Batasa, which is this um, tax uh, it, that comes upon them, is actually. It is like a head tax, a cargo is, is a kesem a gulgalta. Um, every single person has to pay it, and therefore it's mishubit, and there, therefore it's not a form of stealing. Umalka um, oimer mandi yoyev taska lechel ara. So he said, like, who gave the taxes for this land? Amur apapul rabba chazimar hani rabbana diav zuzei a karga. I see these people that they gave. Uh, money for the head tax, the inchi umishabdi behutve, and now there's a, a greater shibud upon them. Armali hashda ichu shechiva loy armulhu hamilsa hachi amar sheishes mahar rakaihu dehani betaf betafsa demalka monach. Says Rashi, but argus shel melech munach. This. Uh, Chesta of the king was placed. The Yavari Kulam of Adamlo were all considered to be like slaves to him. The Dina Machusa Dina. Therefore, we have to follow these the, the laws of the king. Malka Imir Mandalo Yoiv Karga Lishtabid Lamandi of Karga. So again, you 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 have an obligation to pay pay these taxes. There was not a form of stealing. Rav Soiram Achua the Rava Habi Tokiv Inchi Dulamalu. So he used to force people who weren't proper. Umayluhu bigo harka. And he would, says Rashi, have a, a gala muchenes lamir keves adam. There was this a special wagon to, to move people. The rubber aimerle, rubber shaperko avta, to tanina. Reisa sheena nohig kashura. We see that they're not in a proper row. How do we know that they could could work? The Pasik says regarding an Ebed that they work for you forever. You would think even if they're noyig in this proper manner. Let's say you give money to your friend for the purpose of wine. Upasha, and he is negligent. Vlozavinle doesn't engage in the business deal of the wine. Mishalomle, Kidika Ozel, Mishalomle, he has to pay Kidika Ozel, Parvasa, Dezoil, Dezol, Dezol Shafat. Says Rashi, Shema Makom, you have to pay the amount, Shadai Nikach, that the wine was taken. But Nimchon Sham, as though it was actually sold over there. So because he was Poishaya, he has the obligation to have to pay back the uh, proper amount. Omer Maimer Amrisa Lishmaisa Kamed Rav Zvid, Menar Dos, the Sukhi was said uh, in front of Rav Zvid. Omer Kikam Rav Chama, when did Rav Chama say this din uh, regarding, again, your friend who was Poishaya, was Pasha and he didn't sell the wine properly? That's only when it comes to regular wine. When it comes to this wine, he doesn't say this. Um, fine. Also, when it comes to regular wine, my time a smachte a smachto kanya. So, says Rashi, I feel heftichu. Even though this guy seemingly promised that he was going to be involved with your wine. If I don't uh, sell your wine, Ephraim Ishli, I'm going to pay you back for my own. He actually didn't do any Kenyan. So therefore, the truth is, he should never have to pay for the wine um, because whatever he said was really not um, binding. According to Ravashi, how is it different from this sugi that says, so what is this talking about? It says Rashi Gabi Makabul Sadu Machavero Umaxo. A person who accepts upon his field a field from his friend for half. Vovira um Shulharshivo Zara. 
and he ends up not plowing it, not doing anything. So you have to figure out how much would it be if it was done, and that's what you have to give to him. Um, since you caused this loss, um, it's not considered a smachta. So how is it different in this case? So where it says hasam biyadai, over there it was in your hands to do something. However, hacha la biyadai, because shemeloyim chruloy. How do we know that even if he did try to sell it, he would be able to find someone to buy it, and therefore because of that, he should not necessarily be held accountable. And we can say a smachtas lo kanya. However, in a situation where he had the ability to do something about it, and he didn't, so therefore in that situation, the din is different. Adkan.